Now our XFL team, the Houston Roughnecks, have clinched a spot in the South Division Championship game after their win against San Antonio last weekend. Tomorrow, the team returns to their home field to host the Vegas Vipers. This morning, joining me, some of the players, Alexander Myers, uh, Emmanuel Ellerby, and William Likely to chat about the game. How are you guys feeling? Good, excited, good. ready. Excited. You're excited for tomorrow's yeah, game? Of course. Have you ever played the Vipers? Like, do you know what to expect? This is our first game against the Vipers. Uh, we watched a lot of film, though, so we've been preparing throughout the week, and you know, we're ready for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So explain too for the anybody who's watching, like, what exactly? How did how does your sport differ from other sports that people are familiar with? Like, what are you guys what are you guys doing out there? Yeah, um, I think football is a very physical, a very, I would say, like, kind of chess match game. Yeah. Physical is, I think on the, the front end, you just see the brunt force of it, of us just running around, just hitting people as hard as we can. But there's also, like, the mental aspect that goes into it as well. Um, you know, we're watching, as Will said, we're preparing and watching film all week so we can know tendencies and formations to be able to do the things we need to do so we can be able to make plays. Yeah, it's a mental game. Um, it, you know, we we were just doing a report yesterday about how you guys test on cognitive tests. Like it, it really it takes a lot of like thought into it that I think a lot of people don't realize. How are you going to describe this season for people? Like, you guys are doing pretty good. Go ahead. I, I can test it out. Uh, <laughs> you know, just like a legendary season, just going out here and having fun at the end of the day. Because um, we were a group of guys that, you know, sometimes it's our first time meeting each other. Uh -huh. um, so we just want to bring it all together and having fun with it. You know, at the end of the day, we bring a whole lot of brother, like bonds mm -hmm. and you know, brotherhood. Um, that's what we bring to the table. So, you know, it's been pretty exciting this season. Since like I, we were talking about during the break, like I figured people are probably from all over. Maybe mm -hmm. you guys haven't played together before. Do you feel like you have that team bond already? Oh yeah, since we first stepped on, like I didn't really know Alex. Uh, really? Coming mm -hmm. from Houston, I'm coming from Maryland, University of Maryland. And um, you know, like the first week, we just, we clicked up and just bonded like that. So um, each and every day we try to keep doing that, uh, keep working with each other. And you know, it's been, it's been paving the way for them for so far, so. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and you like him back? Yeah, that's my guy. <laughs> that's my guy. Cause it takes that teamwork to, to you know, to really be successful. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Cool. So what, what time does the game start? How can people watch you guys? Yeah, uh, the game is tomorrow uh, morning at 1130 a.m. It's an early one, but, um, you know, hopefully the sun won't be beaming too hard. So we'll get some cold wind. Uh, There's going to be at U of H, uh, TDECU Stadium. And, uh, yeah, kickoff is at 1130, so we're excited to go. Yeah, do you guys always play there? Uh, yes, that's our home stadium. Yeah. So our home game, home stadium. We have a, uh, we, you guys, you said in the opener that we have a, we've clinched, you know, playoffs. So that game tomorrow is an important one because we win that one. We'll be back uh, in two weeks on the 29th to be able to play our home, first home playoff game and, and, you know, bring a championship to Houston, you know, continue on that journey. Nice. Maybe you can come back and tell us about it then, oh, too. Yes, yes. That's, it's, a that's a really new, nice stadium. So oh, you yeah. guys are lucky to play there. Yes, I'm Absolutely. grateful. Definitely fortunate. Anything else that you want to tell people about, about your sport? Um, I would just tell everybody that if you're in the city of Houston, you, you have something that you don't have anything to do. Or maybe if you have something to do. Ask no, they should make it a priority. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, you know, you're to everybody. Yes, you're being very point. humble, but right. they should make it a priority. 100%. You're a home team team. Exactly. They should make it a priority for them to come out and watch us uh, play tomorrow. And then, you know, when we have our, our next home play or for the home playoff game and be loud, be, you know, we feed off that energy. Yeah, um, I think the Roughneck fans are some of the best fans that are in this whole entire XFL thing. Cool. And, I mean, football's king in Texas. So, you yeah. know, it's, it's an opportunity for you to see spring football. You know, we usually don't have this. We have to wait until the fall. But like, I mean, you're in April yeah. and you're having a nice day outside. Weather's not too hot. That's true. You know, just come out That's true. and scream and, and watch one of the greatest games. Houston gets hyped when we have a really good team. So yeah. I hope that you guys are feeling love. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Are. Definitely are. Nice. All right. Thanks so much for joining me, guys.